Uh, my name is Alok Shetty. Uh, I'm an architect. Uh, studied my bachelor's in architecture in Bangalore at the RV School of Architecture. And then from there, I did my master's at Columbia University. And I set up my firm at a very young age, at around 19 years old. And we do a lot of work in the field of uh, healthcare and hospitality. And uh, the project I'd like to speak to you today about is the shipping container project. Right, you mentioned it this morning in this uh, Yeah, I gave a talk, talk on it, yeah. Um, so basically this project was something that me and my classmates, uh, we started working on it at Columbia University. Okay, so it's a university project? It was, it started it as a university project. Okay. Uh, two of my classmates, Nathan Smith and Shay Gilligan. Uh, so they were two of my classmates at the time. And uh, we designed it at that point, but just as a concept. And uh, you designed what? Explain it for those who don't know it. I mean, I have seen it this morning, so I know a little so, bit of. So art. basically, what what we are trying to do is we take a forty foot shipping container, and the shipping container itself completely transforms itself into an auditorium that seats two hundred and fifty people. But it still can be used as a shipping container. Uh, it can still be used. It, it, well, the store, there's no storage space left inside because you have all these folds. Okay, so that, it's completely full inside. Yeah, it's compl it, it basically it's an auditorium yeah. uh, inside a shipping container. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, the, the three of us, we developed it together uh, as a university project. And then we realized the potential of it. And, you know, now uh, I've decided, I decided to leave New York and come back to Bangalore to run my practice here. Yeah. And... Uh, we decided to stay partners in the project and they are running they're working in New York and in LA and we're developing a prototype as we speak for the shipping container we actually have getting started on a working section model uh, because there are a lot of moving parts and uh, yeah. I'm sure you've seen the video so you can maybe provide a link to the video yes, or something uh, so your viewers can see it. So what is the main purpose of this, uh, of this uh, our auditorium? Main, our main idea was to design a space for the spoken word because what we realized was the, the best stories that people have to tell are in extremely remote locations and they don't have the infrastructure around them to tell it and they don't have people to come there and witness their talks. Okay. So what if we could design this space or this kind of infrastructure that we could take to them and it get and it could get to any place in the world, right? So what we did was we started looking at the world map, and we started looking at all these flying routes, and shipping routes, and you know roads, and we decided, okay, what is a common factor? What is something that can be, you know, moved through air, through sea, and through land? And we we arrived at the shipping container because you know it can be airlifted. It can be put on sea barges and it can also be put on 18-wheeler trucks and driven to mm. where, wherever there's roads. So basically there's nowhere it cannot access. You know, you can, you can access almost anywhere in the world. How would you describe if when you unfold this entire uh, uh, cargo, cargo thing, how would you describe the process? What, what does it include until, you know, the entire setup stands there? Oh, uh, so you mean, uh, you mean what? What does what does the, the whole thing include? Right. Okay. What's in there? What's in there? Okay. So basically, um, it's just a bunch of folded parts and hinges. So the seats and everything are part of the entire shipping container. It's all in one complete unit. So there are two hundred and fifty seats. There are structural supports when it opens up, so that you know it bears the weight of two hundred and fifty people because there's that much live load. And not to mention the load of the steel. Uh, there are staircases for entrances and exits. There's a stage. And it comes included with a shade sail. And this sail protects it in outdoor weather. Um, and basically, the sail has photovoltaic cells sewn into the canvas. Mm -hmm. So these photovoltaic cells, they can harness solar energy. And, you know, once the solar, you can harness that solar energy and you can use it to power the whole the whole mm. auditorium. How many people does it take uh, to unfold it, to set it up? So basically we are looking at maybe four people to unfold the whole thing and you can do it in maybe four hours or something like that. And when will it be the first time available? 
so we're starting prototyping now and we're doing a lot of moving joints because and we're doing hinges and load bearing testing so we're looking at maybe a completely ready prototype by in in about a year's time in a year's time yeah and about the costs can you say anything about the costs well we could definitely promise you that it's going to be the most uh, economical auditorium for 250 people out there